guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit interesting. I'm going to be doing my makeup and I have a good idea on what type of makeup look I want to do, although I'm not 100% sure on exactly which products I'm going to use yet. But I thought as I was doing my makeup, I am going to read out some of the assumptions that you guys have had about me. Um, I asked over on my Instagram and I got quite a few come through and I'll just go through and tell you guys if they're true or not. I'm going to be chatting throughout this entire video, so I'm going to be leaving a link of all of the products that I use down below um, just in case I get like caught up and don't tell you guys something so if you want to know something that I've used it will be listed down below for you but I'm just gonna get straight into it so firstly I'm just going to go in with the Rimmel London fix and perfect makeup primer so the first one is I assume you are a very easygoing mum you aren't very strict with Miller and won't be strict with Lincoln um I think it depends like I feel like I'm easygoing with some things like for example them playing in dirt and getting messy and dirty and stuff like it does not bother me one bit at all I just rather than be having fun whereas Kurt like that really annoys him when they get really dirty um but then in other ways like I actually just said to Kurt I think it was yesterday or the day before when I asked Miller to do something once and she doesn't do it the first time I really need to start to have consequences because she's just like getting to that age now where she's not always listening to everything that I'm saying like she used to. Um, she's just getting older. She's just testing the boundaries and seeing what she can get away with. I'm definitely out of the two of us the more strict parent but yeah I definitely wouldn't say we're strict but at the same time I really don't want to bring up a little shit either <laughs> so I feel like I'm not strict but I'm not like I don't let her get away with things definitely don't and like I, I say that I need to get better with giving her consequences I definitely do like I say to her if you throw that toy again I'm putting it up on the table and you can't play with it she throws it again I put it up on the table and she doesn't play with it but sometimes like say if Lincoln's awake and something's keeping her happy and, and like he's fussing and stuff like that I'll like let it slide a little bit more whereas I need to just like stick on top of it um, but yeah I would say we're not too strict some of these assumptions are so hectic you guys prepare yourself so now I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows and I'm just going to be using the Pony Cosmetics Brow Magic so the next one is I assume that there is much more to your day-to-day -day life than you show to everyone and yeah there definitely is but I feel like it's um purely work work is the only thing that I don't really show and purely just because I feel like it's boring I feel like day-to-day -day life um it is very kind of accurate because every single day is totally different and every single vlog is different so I might show like a little bit of this one day then a little bit of that the next day so I feel like my kind of like day-to-day -day life is very like accurate but just I don't show my work stuff so when the kids are napping I'll often say to you guys I'm gonna go edit or I'm gonna go get back to phone calls or I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna do that um, but I just don't show up because I feel like it's really boring for you guys and yeah hours and hours go into that every day so there is quite a big part of my day that you guys don't see there would be a couple of hours at night a couple of hours in the morning and then a couple of hours in the day so probably about six hours a day um, plus whenever I can if the kids are happy doing something I'll be quickly trying to write back to comments or answer phone calls and things like that too so that's probably the main thing the main thing you guys don't see but other than that I feel like it's pretty accurate but yeah I definitely think you guys sometimes don't see the stresses of things that happen behind the scenes like you know you put a video up and you get copyright flagged and you quickly like frantically trying to re-edit it and change the song and do this and like there's just little things that happen um, that you guys don't see and I don't purposefully hide it or anything like that I think I just don't share it because because I feel like it's boring I'm just gonna zoom you guys in because I had somebody say the other day if you could zoom in that would be great so I heard your girlfriend the next one is you wouldn't be friends with subscribers um I feel like I've met a heap of my friends through YouTube but they're mainly other youtubers I definitely don't think that I would never not be friends with subscribers because there's no reason why not to be um, the people that I know probably genuinely like me for who I am because I am 100% myself online um, I feel like a lot of you guys that watch don't really live that close to me which is probably the main factor that comes into play like it's pretty hard with kids to even like traveling somewhere that's like 30 minutes away is a mission with two kids on your own. Yeah, I definitely have no reason why not to. Like I said, I feel like we would probably get along well. Like if you actually genuinely enjoy my videos, I feel like we'd get along well because I literally feel like I am the exact same in real life as I am on here. My eyebrows like super uneven, probably. And like I chat to you guys all the time. I chat to you guys every single day. So I feel like some of you guys know me better than, you know, a lot of people in my real life would know me. Um, so yeah, I feel like heaps of you guys already are my friends. So I just went in with my Ardell Brow Sculpting Gel. Now I'm just going to conceal my eyes 
eyes and I'm using the Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Light Pale. What's your next assumption? That if I saw you down the street, you wouldn't mind if I came and said hello. Not at all. There's been quite a few times when I've gone into like our local shopping center um, down at Tweed City that I've bumped into heaps of you guys. And I absolutely love when you come and say hello. It like genuinely makes my day. Like it makes me so excited and so happy. So 100% I would not mind at all. So the next assumption is that I don't eat much. And I actually have like three of you guys say the same assumption, um, but kind of written differently. So I definitely eat, but I feel like I'm a massive snacker. I like literally snack all day long. And the only reason that I do that and don't sit down and really eat like massive meals besides dinner is because I'm time poor. So with the kids and stuff like that, it's just like I just grab something out of the fridge and eat it. Um, rather than like making myself a full gourmet meal just because purely of time So I would say that I'm more of a snacker like especially until the afternoon And then normally in the afternoon when Kurt gets home, I'll make myself like a decent sized meal and then um, Again for dinner. I'll have a massive dinner most nights I'll probably eat the same size dinner as Kurt you wake up happy as Larry in the morning. I would say most mornings um, I wake up feeling pretty happy. Some mornings I literally, it's mainly when I have anxiety, um, I wake up in a state and I definitely need to get myself out of that funk. And the number one way of me doing this is to do something that I like to do. So normally I will edit. Um, and then another thing that I will do is listen to like motivational talks that make me feel good about myself. But false, I don't wake up happy as Larry every single morning, especially when I've got really bad anxiety. I find that I wake up in the morning feeling really, really bad usually. So now I'm just gonna go in with my Savvy Loose Powder. And that's the translucent one. You don't exercise much and are naturally skinny is the next assumption. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm naturally skinny because when I do definitely try to be healthy, um, I can gain weight really easily. We went on a trip to Hawaii quite a few years back now and I gained five kilos when we were on the trip because I just ate whatever I wanted and um, didn't look after my health and it was really bad like greasy food. So I wouldn't say that I'm like naturally, um, although it is like a priority of mine to feel good and bad foods like that generally make me feel really bad as well. I actually used to exercise a lot, um, but since having Lincoln, I have not had a consistent routine where I've consistently exercised. Although in saying that, I'm really excited because I've got a personal trainer coming over tomorrow. So I'm gonna start exercising guys. Again, I used to exercise like oh, five times a week after I had Miller. Like, when I first started YouTube, I exercised all the time. Um, but yeah, she's finding time and prioritizing and things. And like YouTube is just my priority over my fitness, which that sounds really bad, but <laughs> this one made me laugh. <laughs> so now this next one's juicy guys, get ready. So now I'm gonna go in with my salt water palette from Models Prefer. Do you guys prefer being zoomed in like this? I kind of feel weird though, because I chat all the time. I feel like you'd like just seeing my eyes, but I had a few people say to zoom in when I'm doing my eyes. Let me know what you guys would prefer down below. But this next question is, I assume you and Kurt are very sexual with each other. Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in with the shade June as my transition shade. This one's really nice. It says, you are a hardworking and down to earth woman. I definitely would say that I'm hardworking. I um, work a lot. Kurt gets the shits with me a lot of the time because how much I like effort I do put into it and I don't really need to like for example writing back to pretty much every comment all the time he's like you don't need to do that because no one does that because it's so hard to find the time and I know as I grow I just physically won't be able to um, but I just like to as much as I can and that's just who I am and thanks I'd like to think I'm down to earth okay now I'm going to dip into Oasis I'm just like a tiny bit at a time I'm gonna take So the next assumption is you're the type of person that has a few really good friends rather than a bunch of friends that you do not know well. Um, definitely. I have like very little people that I actually make time for to see all the time and it's those who I genuinely like to be around and who I feel like um, genuinely like my company and we get along well. If I if I feel like you're like a negative Nancy or someone that like just, I don't know, is a fake friend, I really don't have time for it. That sounds really bad. But as I'm getting older, I am definitely getting more and more like this. I just don't have time for it. I just don't have time for the bullshit. I just don't have time for fake friends. Um, I 
literally like even my friends they know like they are always like oh i want to come over and see you and i'm like okay well like the kids nap around this time they're like why can't i come see you when the kids nap and it's like because i need to work like that's the only time i have to get this stuff done and they they know like how dedicated i am and they're so understanding and they get it which is like amazing but yeah like some i, I think i was thinking about youtube and friends sometimes people don't understand how much time it all takes and like they're not as understanding about like I don't know it's one of those things like I was talking to a friend actually a while ago and was saying like how it's even hard sometimes to organize to go out for a coffee because like there's just so many things to do all the time and when you work for yourself it literally is like that like there is unlimited amounts of like things to do but I, I do definitely do stuff I don't like just not do stuff but I only put in the effort for those who I really want to I don't just do it for everyone and anyone um, because I'd rather be like I don't know if somebody's negative to hang out with I'd rather be doing something productive with my time and something to make me a better person not hanging out with someone that makes me feel like shit and that's just like brutally honest don't worry I'm gonna clean up all under here <laughs> you guys are probably like scared for me I'm a little bit scared for myself I'm not gonna lie just kind of went for it today I'm going for it today your body bounced back quickly after both births um, I definitely think it bounced back quicker after having Lincoln um, which is weird thing because he was my second baby um, but with Miller I wouldn't say that it took like ages to bounce back but it definitely wasn't as quickly as it did with Lincoln and I think that's just purely because I was a lot healthier and I ate better and looked after myself better when I was pregnant with Lincoln so now I'm going to duck into Atlantis do I really get this one it says you will enjoy everything Miller did as a kid like does it mean like do I think that she'll like the same things as me or like they I don't really understand that one but I don't really know I feel like she's so similar to me like she loves singing loves dancing and that's like not from me trying to make her do that at all that's just what she's like gone into I tried to put her into swimming and I hated swimming and um she didn't like it she went to one lesson and was just kind of over it I'm never gonna force her into anything that she doesn't want to do I'll definitely let her make up her mind and what she wants to do I'll give her a try and like let her try things but if she's not into it I'm not gonna make her do it I can't believe it. I'm just fully going there with this blue eye look guys and I just like want to add a little bit of brown I think so I'm gonna go in with the color tan and just kind of really press that in on the outer edge then I'm going to go in with sea foam and this next assumption is that Kurt and I fight a lot um, I wouldn't say we fight a lot, we bicker a lot. Like we bicker, but we don't actually, like we're never serious. Like we joke around, fight a lot. Um, like I literally ask my family, ask anyone. We are like an old married couple when we are together. Um, we just bicker about the stupidest little petty things, but that's just us. Um, we never like I don't know I feel like Kurt and I are both pretty easy going we don't really take too much too seriously and it's pretty hard to offend either of us um, like for either of us to offend each other like we know things that offend each other and we just wouldn't talk about those but we do definitely joke around a lot um, and yeah we don't take things too seriously in our relationship whatsoever hey I'm kind of really liking this okay don't mind me I've still got to clean it all up but I don't think that's too bad Maybe I need to blend it a bit better. I don't know, once I clean it up, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna go in with my Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation in the color 200 Soft Beige. You and Kurt have a good sex life. Oh my gosh, you guys really wanna know about our sex life, don't you? Well, we have two babies. Um, but yeah, like honestly, to kind of like elaborate a little bit more on that, I feel like like all truth, like no lies whatsoever, right now after having two kids is probably the best it's ever been which is crazy to think i feel like sometimes people are scared that after having kids um it's not the same and that's definitely not the case for us but yeah i would definitely say like it's crazy i would you would think that after having two kids it wouldn't be as good as it was but it's going to brush into my hairline as well i would guaranteed say that right now is the best it's ever been how did you learn how to adult it seems like you're so put together with household and other stuff um I don't feel like I'm that put together really like I always say to you guys I'm like oh my gosh my house is clean for like the first time this week like I'm not even kidding when I say that okay now I'm just going back in with the concealer the age rewind um I feel like I've always kind of been that way I've always been like settled down pretty early um and yeah I don't know I feel like that's just my personality kind of like I feel like I've always really liked to accomplish things and I've always liked to accomplish things on my own. So the next assumption is you and your partner had a rocky relationship due to him being naughty before kids and this is 100% true. 
um, Kurt used to get into a lot of trouble, um, not just off me, but with the law. Uh, he's been to court a lot of times, like probably five times or more. Um, he used to just be really angry. I don't know. It's like he had too much bloody testosterone or something in him. But he was just, he's so different now, guys. Like, it's crazy. And, yeah, I don't even know how I got through those phases sometimes with Kurt. He was never bad to me. And I think that's the reason he's always been so amazing to me. But just, you know what it is? Alcohol changes some people, and he is one of those people. He doesn't get wasted drunk anymore. And he used to get, like, white girl wasted drunk every time he went out. And alcohol just doesn't agree with him. Alcohol makes him a bad person. Um, not so much anymore, but when he was younger, he just like, I don't know, was so grumpy when everyone out drinking. He used to get into fights all the time. Um, he used to, I think there was one time he like hit a security guard. He's probably gonna hate me for talking about this, but I'm just being like so honest right now. I'm just dipping back into that Savvy powder and putting it where I put the concealer. Um, but yeah, like he definitely, has not been like this his whole life. Um, we've been together for a really long time. I've known Kurt since I was in grade six in school. So we like, we know each other so well. And yeah, he just went through a shit time. Like that's the best way to put it. You're always happy and positive. I definitely wouldn't say I'm always, um, but I definitely strive to be. Now I'm gonna duck into that Oasis again and just take it underneath my This one's interesting. So now I'm just going to use, I feel like this foundation's a little bit dark. Oh, maybe it's okay. So now I'm just going to use my Thin Lizzy Bronzer in the shade Light. Okay, this question is interesting. So this one is that you have lip fillers. And actually, thank you, because that makes me feel more confident about my lips. Um, no, I have not had lip fillers. It's something that I have like thought about. Um, and I've definitely kind of ummed and ahed about doing but the only reason why I haven't and why I think, I shouldn't say I won't because I might end up getting it done eventually. Like I definitely don't know what I'm gonna do in the future. But the main reason is because I don't want it to change my facial expressions. And I'm worried that when I get lip fillers done, it'll change my smile. The reason I personally want to get them done is just so when my face is relaxed like this, in here gets like kind of is a bit small I think on my own lips I know it's really petty and it's stupid but I'm just being honest um, and I wouldn't mind it looking a little bit more plump my top lip mainly but I feel like you can kind of just do that with makeup anyway and yeah I don't know I don't shut up 90% of the time so it's not very often my face is relaxed like that and I'm really worried that it will change the way my smile looks and it will change my facial expressions which I don't want it to alter that um, so that's the main reason why I kind of haven't, but it is something that I have definitely thought about. I was literally only just talking to my sisters about this, um, yesterday. So I was like talking to them and I'm like, I just don't want to change this and change that. And they're like, well, it will. So don't get it done. So I'm pretty sure for now I'm not going to, um, but who knows in the future, I'm not going to say I'm not going to, cause I could totally change my mind. Um, and yeah, but for now, no, but I'm going to be getting my boobs done probably in the next six months, I reckon. Um, but that's something I've always been open about and I've always told you guys about. There's heaps of videos about that and like why I wanna get it done. But before I get it done, I'll definitely sit down and like re-go over everything again. Now I'm just gonna dip into the Maybelline Fit Me blush in the shade Rose. You would adopt. Um, I have nothing against that whatsoever. It's definitely a possibility, but not right now, I guess. Um, I'm so finding my hands full with having just two kids even, but yeah, I have absolutely nothing against it and definitely potentially could happen. I have no idea. That you want heaps of kids. I do want heaps of kids, but I don't want to have to go through um, the struggles that pregnancy put me through at the same time. So I feel like yes and no. Um, I would love to have two more and I might end up having two more, but I don't necessarily want to... Um, be in hospital bed rest while I'm pregnant and I don't know if it's like it's not fair when I'm pregnant and having a hard time on the kids so I would if my pregnancies were like textbook easy like no dramas happen because I've had so many things happen those of you who have been watching for a long time will know but I've had an ectopic pregnancy I've lost a tube it's hard for me to fall pregnant when I do fall pregnant there's a one in ten chance that I'll have another ectopic and once I have another one I have to have my other tube removed when I'm pregnant I've gotten preeclampsia twice um, I end up being sick when I'm pregnant pregnancy just 
doesn't agree with me. So that's kind of like the main reason and if I had like just a textbook pregnancy every time and everything was totally fine I definitely would and not only that like Miller you know being born with her cleft um, is another thing as well like I know as she gets older and she has more surgeries to get done it's just going to be a bit more time consuming and yeah I don't know I feel like we might just have one more I feel like yeah I don't know I don't I feel so content right now but I just don't know what the future will hold and we are still only young so I don't really know so now I'm just going in with the Master Chrome by Maybelline in the shade Molten Gold. And then I'm also just going to grab a little brush and pop some of that highlight just on the inner corner there too. You give people second chances that don't really deserve it. Yep, 100% me. I'm so guilty of doing this. And as I'm getting older, I'm definitely getting better. But when I was younger, I gave people way more than second chances. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Um, and yeah, I definitely have gone through phases of being walked all over and taken advantage of. And I feel like that's like one reason why I feel like I am so much stronger today because I, I think that I just think that everybody empathizes with everyone else. And I know that not everybody does. And some people just don't have a freaking heart and they genuinely don't care if they upset someone. Whereas me, if I upset someone, I am like devastated by it. Um, so yeah, that you and your partner will get married in 2019. I have no idea. I honestly have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. So now for lips, I'm just going to use my Lasting Finish by Rimmel Lip Liner in the shade Natural. That you eat healthy all the time. I never see you eat anything bad. I definitely don't eat healthy all the time. I'm like, in fact, the first person to say to Kurt, let's go get a burger, let's go get pizza. And like, I'm just a sucker for those sorts of meals. But in saying that, probably only do it like once a week. I try to be relatively healthy 90% of the time, but definitely doesn't always happen all the time. I assume that you're more of a family girl than a party girl. That is definitely right. I definitely prefer to just hang out with girlfriends, have a couple of wines out by the pool, um, have like pool days and stuff like that versus going out at night. I will go out on the odd occasion at night, but it's not something that I like get excited about, to be honest. So now I'm going to use the, oh, where's my hair on that, nice. Vivid Hot Lacquer by Maybelline. I really like these. This one is in the shade Unreal and it is bloody unreal. I really like this lipstick. Can you guys tell I'm a big Maybelline girl? I have so many Maybelline products. It's ridiculous. Why? This hair is like sticking to me. Super duper caring and compassionate. I think, yeah, I think that I am a pretty caring person and I have been walked over by being this way because people can take advantage of me very easily. But at the same time these days, I feel like if somebody does the wrong thing by me, I am not as forgiving as I used to be. I feel like, um, yeah, I just don't have time for bullshit anymore. <laughs> You're always in a lovely mood and never get overwhelmed by the babies. No, I definitely get overwhelmed by the babies. It's just that I find sometimes with um, filming, it's really hard. If I have the camera set up, I put the footage in every single time. But if I'm physically holding the camera, obviously my baby's are always my number one priority. So I don't always capture those hard times because I'm with them. But kids will be kids and my kids are definitely not perfect. They're good kids. Um, but my god, they both have hard days. Now I'm just going to finish off with this Barry M Flawless Mist and Fix Makeup Setting Spray. If Miller and Lincoln weren't such traumatic experiences, you would make 10 kids. Yep, true. You're actually a shy, reserved person off camera. Um, no, not really. I feel like I used to be a shy, reserved person off camera. I feel like being on YouTube has definitely helped me come out of my shell a lot. Um, I feel like, well, most of the people that know me meet me and they say you're exactly the same in real life as you are on YouTube and I do genuinely feel like that like I don't feel like I put on any sort of an act I talk the exact same way I don't change my voice I definitely don't change my laugh my laugh is like hideous and I get told every single day that you guys think my laugh is hilarious sorry about that but yeah I just feel like I am pretty much the exact same in real life as I am online obviously I'm super duper open so um if it might take like a few times of me meeting you for me to me like be like this open straight up um but yeah, no, I feel like I talk the exact same. I am the exact same type of person. Anyways, guys, this is a finished look. This is definitely like something I've never done before. I feel like it's definitely a little bit crazy for me, but it was good fun trying something new. I'll zoom you guys in. So a nice little blue smoky eye with some glitter in the center. 
I hope you all learned something new about me and enjoyed this video for something a little bit different. I feel like this was heaps of fun. If you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.